its bulbs and its flowers are all the same piece, and the six branches going out of the sides, the three branches of the candlestick out of the one side of it, and the three branches of the candlestick out of the other side of it. Three bowls made after the pattern of an almonds in one branch, a bulb and a flower, and three bowls made like almonds in another branch, a bulb and a flower, so that out to the six branches going out of the candlestick, and the candlestick were four bowls made like diamonds, almonds, its bulbs, and its flowers, and bulb under two branches of the same, a bulb under the two branches of the same, and a bulb under two branches of the same, according to the six branches of going out of it. The bulbs and their branches were the same all of it was one beast and work of pure gold, and he made it seven lamps and its tongues and ash tons of pure gold, and of tons of pure gold he made it and its vessels. And he made the incense altar of shittim wood, the length of it a cubit, and the breadth of it a cubit, it was a four square, and the two cubits was its height. Its horns were the same, and they overlaid it with pure gold. He looked of the top of it, and the size of the lid ran about, and the horns also he made for its rim of gold ran about, and he made two rings of the gold worm under its crown. And by its two corners upon it, two sides of it could be places for the poles with which to bear it. And he made the poles of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold, and made the holy anointing oil on here, and sent them the sweet spices according to the work of the perfumer. And he made the altar of burnt offering of shittim wood, five cubits with its length, and five cubits with its width, plus four square, three cubits in its height. And he made its horns the four corners of it. His horns were of the same, and he overlaid it with brass. And he made all the vessels of the altar, the pans, and the bells, and the basins, and the boats, the five pans, and the vessels, he made of brass. And he made for our altar a brazen grace of network under its leg, which beneath placed the half way, and it cast four rings for the four ends of the grate of brass, to be placed for the poles. And he made the poles of fifth one, and overlaid them with brass. And he put the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar, which were the bearers. And he made an altar hollow with boards, and he made a labor of brass, and he put a brass. The mirrors of a woman assembling to assemble at the door of the tent of meeting. They made the court on the south side southward of the hanging of the court where a fine twine of linen, a hundred cubits, their pillars were twenty, and their raisin sockets twenty, the hooks of the pillars and their joints were of silver. And from the north side the hangings were a hundred cubits, their pillars were twenty, and their sockets of rafts twenty, the hooks of the pillars and their joints of silver, and for the west side were hangings of fifty cubits, and their pillars ten, and their sockets ten, and their hooks of the pillars and their joints of silver, and for the east side each were fifty cubits, the hangings of the one side of the gate of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, their sockets three, and on the other side of the court gate, on um, this hand, that hand, were hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. All the hangings of the court round about were of the vine twine linen, and the sockets for the pillars were of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their joints of silver, and the overlaying of their capitals of silver, and all the pillars of the court were bound of silver. And the screen for the gates of the court was in variety of work, of blue and purple and scarlet, and fine twin linen, and twenty cubits was the length, and the height of its breadth was five cubits. Answerable to the hangings of the court, and their pillars were four, and sockets of brass four, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their capitals, and their joints of silver. And all the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court and about four of brass. These are the accounts of the tabernacle, the tabernacle, the testimony, as they were accounted according to the commandment of Moshe. For the work of the Levites by the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aharon, the priest, and Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, the tribe of Yehuda, made all that the Lord commanded Moshe, and with him was Aholreav, son of Asamak, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and an artist, and an embroiderer, in blue and in purple and in scarlet and fine linen, 